to a Europa Universalis 3. Divine Wind as the country of England. In the last episode, we finally got out of our precious little union with Castile. And we went into an instant war with France and got, in, got Armagnac for our troubles. Which ended our mission to capture that. We got a couple of terrors. We did also get Vassalize Navarro, which we didn't because we don't want to risk a war with Castile. And we, the next mission was improved relationships, which we did. Now our next mission is to colonize Sierra Leone, which is right here. So we don't have a colonist, but we're going to get one soon. Actually, we're going to get one in the next month or three days. So, what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, we've got a 12, we got... 15, 16, okay. So, we want to keep the northern side pretty useful, otherwise Burgundy's going to attack. So, we're going to take our 15-man army, and we're going to place them down in Africa. And we're going to build a small army just to keep in the south of France. I mean small. It's gonna be. I'm gonna build them all in one place just so I can. And four. there we go. Twelve. A twelve thousand regiment army. I think we're going to be. Oh shoot, we're quite a bit over. Our supply. Our support limit. without penalties. We'll get a small penalty if we do that. Hmm. Screw that, we'll just leave it undefended then. It's a bit stupid, but I'd rather have it undefended rather than do that, because we're going to go to war with um, a tribal nation in Africa. And I think we'll be fine. So we're going to speed up time a bit. The legitimacy shit the bed quite much. We're at 10. And we did get ourselves two, yeah, we got ourselves two great men. And inflation's still going up like a rocket. So. We've still got pretty poor economy, so I don't, re I don't think that do it. We got 55% chance of colonizing Sierra Leone, but as I said, I'm not going to build any buildings till next year. Hmm. Tempting, but I don't really need production efficiency. Right now. We're not going to be focusing mainly on tech, actually, because we're quite a bit far behind, but we will catch up towards the end of the game. You'll have that. We should be able to get there before I... Okay, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna move there. Mana. Just in case it don't, know. Yeah. Expected. Right, we can go to war with them, then Aztec member of the Animus Faith, yeah, we'll be fine. Holy war we can get out full annexation of all provinces. Colonial conquest is actually yeah, we can do colonial conquest. Oh crap, back down to the Regency Castle. Hmm. That means mm, that is, that's actually very crap for me. Cause that means no wars! Damn it, man. How long? 16 years before uh, it finally can go to war. So we're basically back to the Union again. At this, at this time, though, we won't be screwed in the terms of that. Ooh. Against Burgundy. Yeah, what else are you going to make me seed? Ooh, all of them are really weak. 
Can I be the second leader? Right, so where's my armies? Except. Yeah, we're in control! Yes! Now we can get whatever we want from these guys. So, vassalization of Brittany. And get at least Picardy and Artois from Burgundy. Right, the army that we've got down there, that's going to go after Brittany. Right, where are they going? They're going to Vermondois. They've got military access through France. That isn't nice. Slow the game down. We don't want to screw ourselves. Our general died. Oh crap. How many generals do we have now? One. <sighs> yeah, he's just as freaking good. Right, we're gonna try and get as much as we can out of Burgundy as possible. Pull back. Actually, no, go go to Valence. They go to there. Right, better idea. <laughs> keep the I'm gonna keep them as close together as possible, because we A sustained war with France is never a good idea. Especially when they're that big. A sustained war with Burgundy though. That is good. Um, where is my forces? Can we hurry up? Come on, hurry, hurry, we haven't got all day. Good. Right, we're gonna send them all the way to Contour in the Bay. Boom! You are staying still. Siege of is over. Yeah, expected. Right, my ships have just arrived. Back to England. And attack. Oh, it's at Normandy. As long as Champagne doesn't get annexed, we're gonna need to take that sometimes. Once I'm done with Brittany, we'll deal with that. But we need to sort out Burgundy, because Burgundy are gonna be the biggest twits. Luckily for me though, I still got a truce on France. They can't attack me. Unless they want a uh, massive stability loss. Uh, siege that one. They buggered off. So we're gonna go after Calais. They've sieged. Right, we got that. Stop buggering off. <gasps> Yes! Yay! Best thing in the game! Woohoo! Go on, keep walking. White piece. Oh, I don't think so! Oh. 
Yes! Nice! Oh, get, get the M drop. Siege of Essex is over. Don't really care. Deal with that. Some bit Britons deal with. Dealt with. <laughs> Make a Britain a mother. Oh. No. Ships to take care of. Missionary right now. Norfolk's going. Right, oh, that's gone. Right, how much would it be to vassalize Brittany? 68%. We got 38% right now. They won't accept it. So we'll just have to torture them a little more. <laughs> yeah, not really. Norfolk's about to go. We're gonna need to send some forces that way at some point. Well, hello there, Br Oh, this is only three. Oh, that was quick. Whoops, no. Go back to Finster. Thank you. Norfolk has gone to Burgundy. Like, like here. Yeah. 67%. Would you want to take a bus in the Yes, you would. Thank you. And you would take a bit of that as well. Thank you. Yeah, Vassalization of Brittany. That'll soon be mine. Alright, now to push. We're very happy. Well, there's no army and navy tradition. One percent with Burgundies because we've got them war exhausted and we've got all that to do. So I'm hoping I can take out all this stuff with Holland as soon as. God damn it, Burgundy, stop buggering off. Yes, I'm gonna catch him. Come on. Stop. Oh, Switzerland's are, war are helping us as well. Hmm. That's awesome. Bring that. Accepted military alliance. We're going to see a call to arms any second. You know, Brittany doesn't really have any forces. Their navy will help. God, this freaking Burgundy is really pissing me off on uh, on how their squad on how their forces are moving. Catch him! Damn it, man! Champagne's become a vassal of Burgundy. Hmm. Kill them. Thank you. We 
We're going to need some reinforcements soon. Not much reinforcements, just a bit. Losing a lot of forces. Whoa. Whoa, hold up a sec. Do I think not? Yeah, we've lost that one pretty bad. What? I'm sorry, 97%? You're having a laugh. Yeah, we're not gonna survive this war. How about you? Reset. Nah, they wouldn't even accept anything. Who else are we at war with? Holland and Aragon. Bye-bye, Aragorn! Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that kinda didn't go bad. That didn't go, didn't go very well. We will we'll get them back. Then we can go straight there. Whoa, hold the phone. Block their ports for me, please. My home province should be too much. So Stop. Now what are they doing? We've destroyed all their army, so we might get to end the vassalization of Holland. Should we beat it? We're not going to call Britain into ours, we don't want to lose our newly vassal. That's done. Yeah, we're just going to... Is this time to go? Yeah, Ko's going to go bye-bye. Yeah, Ko's gone.
five ships captured. That sucks. Yeah, asking for military access through Brabant. Because that makes things. That way I could just send all my troops to Holland, through, run through Brabant, and then boom, 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 And then just take out everything around there. Whoa! Yeah, I knew they'd try something sneaky like that. Take this 12,000 man army then, I'm gonna send them up to Lancashire. Once we've done offloading these guys. Better hurry this war up. We don't want to get into an accident or war with them. France, because they want to. Wow, it's just. Right. Hmm, two colonists. Interesting. Let's cope. Uh, I've forgotten to check. Keep building these one. I think the Azores is self sustaining. But it's got pirates in it, so. Oh, well, they're not doing anything. All they're doing is just reducing the amount of cost. There's reducing. Just keep the lessons. Oh, it's just champagne. Right, we need to build ourselves some more manpower buildings. Oh, the phone. Because we are running low on manpower. Right, now we can build ourselves. Done. Right, this is down. Can't sue them for peace. We'll fight our way through him. Um, I'm going to fight our way through. Oh, we're in a battle. We're in a coastal battle with Holland. Ah! And that's not good as well because Brittany's just declared war on France, and France is going to be a bit of a dick. <laughs> oh, I got 18%. Look, I'm winning this war. What more do you want? What more do you want from me, Burgundy? Oh, wait, we have. Damn you, France. Well, you're not getting anything. All you may be getting is this. You're an impossible Burgundy. Uh, yeah, but I'm already vassal. For him.
Did you collect? Buna Banez is in a war. Normandy is over. Lasted them a whole year. Oh, that's sucky. The country. Uh. All right, then we'll just gang up on um, Brabant then. Make it our vassal. Just completely destroy it. Alright, now that we destroyed you... Vassal? No. Don't be a dick about it. Well, they can't get in here, because it's, it's entirely separate war. <laughs> and we're winning. Against Brittany, of course, but... Except 25 million. They so war exhausted, will they see Picardy to me? No, they won't, because it's defensive war, so I get nothing from it. So, okay, so, sofa piece, offer tribute, one. Screw you, Burgundy will come back later and we'll rip your ass. Oh crap, that was a good uh, that was good timing. I'm just gonna destroy Baban a little. I could annex them, but since they're in the HRE, I don't really want to be tangling with that mess quite yet. So we're gonna force vassalization. Not really something I want to keep doing, but you know. Now I can help out Brittany. And I need to do it pretty quick. God damn it, man, they're there before I even know that they are. Alright, France, what do you want? I still got the reconquest, Castus Belly. Thank you. How the hell am I gonna I'm gonna have to ask for military access through Burgundy in order to get there. <clears throat> Burgundy, stop being a dick. I just wanna get through. Because otherwise I have to get through all the way through these and I'll have to get through some some form of Burgundy anyway. Burgundy's gonna fall. We need to find some way of getting onto the mainland of the south. Why didn't I think of that before? The south! The south! Quickly! Send all of our troops down to the south! Because they're all attacking in the north, so south would be the most plausible option. Ha <laughs> ha! 
We're a they're a vassal. You can't annex them. And we'll go help them out. Speaking of which. Speaking of which, we can um, offer alliance to Brabant. <laughs> yeah, make me see Gascon, Laborde, Normandy, Armagnac, and Abo, and Calais. Uh, I don't think so. No, basically, eliminate me from the freaking mainland. That's why they call it free drive. Alright, attack that. Meanwhile, while they're doing that, quickly rush back up. No! Oh, for God's sake, France! Oh, you. Quick, stop. Stop the game. Turn these ships around. Alright, demand tribute. Yeah, we're gonna have to give them something because clearly that is not going to be the case. Um. We can't give them Vendi, because that sucks. Release nations. No. no, they won't want me to release them. No. I know what they want. They want all of this. Yeah, they'll accept that now. But I'm not going to give them that, because if I give them that, that'd be kind of stupid. Cancel Vassal. Oh, they would accept Bra just Brabant. Actually, better idea. An all treaties with duh, duh, duh. Actually, no, just with those two and reduce our sphere. No, they no, they just freaking want that. Dicks, man. Oh, they would, they would accept the fifty-nine percent. They would accept. I'll take that. Uh, uh, that war was completely not failure. So, thank God. I'll keep them down there now. And I'll move these up. The Royal Army is down there, so. Actually, we need to do a bit of swapping. Put these guys on the boat. We've still got these forces up here, we will do that. Speaking of which, we've got two freaking colonists. We'll send these guys down. Send these guys down to Sierra Leone. Um, and we're also going to build a fort in Cape Verde. Put my support on that. Then we'll go through up the Azores. At least now, I've still got... Oh, it's because I reduced our speed. Well, that sucks. Anyway. We still got an alliance with Brittany, so at least that's decent. And we still got our vassal with Brabant, which is probably the best thing. Especially when we're going to go to wars against um, Burgundy. Now that that's self-sustaining, we can go support them in this cave. But why is it going all the way around? Just go through this way. Thank you. Jesus Christ, just going straight around the whole area. Right, marketplace.
can't see over there. Please see. Who are Castile? They're all with the Mamelukes. And the Timurids are getting bigger. They're literally this way now. Denmark's basically just usurped Sweden. Yes! It worked! Proof relationship with Denmark. So we got now Sierra Leone. Itself is very nice. We're starting to get a bit of holding in Africa. Now. Nice. Um, we are going to send these up to the. Are they going the right way? Yes. Oh yes. That means... Oh, gain one base tax in Sierra Leone. Nice. Now that we're starting to get... Now we're not on the same continent... As us. Oh, that's going down minus 24 a year. That's not good. It's not good one bit. That's my... Yeah, I can deal with that. Just, uh, I just wanted to say... There you go, it's going up five a year. At least I didn't have to cede any territory to France. Because that would suck. But now that it's, um, At least though I didn't cancel or, or spit anything out. Because of France. France is getting pretty big now, and I'm going to be getting a bit worried about it. I think the only way we're going to have to sort this out is if we're going to ha we're going to have to take a bit of Burgundy. We did take over Holland. It's a shame we couldn't end the vassalization of Holland, really, because Holland's a bit of a douchebag when it comes to that. In Ulster, please. I'll be glad once I step, once I land manpower, they're shooting back up. All right, we've got the Royal Army's got twelve. That's got fifteen, and then we got twelve. That sucks. So we're way under our support limit because we had the twenty-one. How much we under support limit by a lot? This one's only got, um, this one's got 12,000. We'll try and get that up to 25 for when we go back to wars with um, Burgundy. Native Rising in Sierra Leone, that basically means they all just freaking just went ate crap and attacked me. And now that that's gone. I'm giving them colonists to send right now. At least now that we got no colonists at all. 
So now, now we got uh, we got a cause now, but at least the chance has gone up now because they, there is no natives. We will go for Sokoto in a bit because they'll be they're quite rich as far as I know. Right, give me armies. Yeah, no doubt France will be better than will be higher than me at this point. Burgundy's massive. Castile's even bigger. We need to try and get an alliance with freaking Austria. Or at least or Castile. But Castile's now out of the picture. And Portugal's out of the picture. Very likely. We can't go to war though, because we still have the Regency Council, and our heir is seven years old. At least though we got Brabham as a vassal. So we can, we will eventually annex them. Speaking of which, we need to improve our relationship with Denmark so we can improve our prestige. Nice. Champagne now. What we need is these two to go to war. When I get become capable of going to war. Ivory in Sierra Leone. That's nice. A constable in Cape Verde. Dark in the Azores. More armories, please. Take a stability drop for now. <sighs> these these are starting to take good shape. But we are oh crap, we're red now. Damn you, Holland, and your massive fucking thing. this to go up. We are so far... The, one of the main reasons is, is because I'm not getting any great men. Um, for, of course, for tech. Due to obvious reasons. We are getting um, a thing that will make us have the, the best ones. And eventually, we're going to need... Well, we're going to need some of it anyway, but Keeping those people there because of that. We've got some revolts possible in the usual places. And we need to. So we can get another colonist. Which is next month, actually. 
Thank you all. We are going to get ourselves another explorer because we need to explore more of the land that we have. Because there is another place that I want to colonize as well. So help us in getting to the um, uncolonized areas of the game. Which is up. <laughs> Stop. Go round. We are gonna go round because they are not gonna do. They are not gonna defeat that. Discovered the Northern Atlantic. So Greenland's up here. There's two provinces up here. Not really very wealthy. They're all pretty decent in the terms of the Northern American regions. Is that right here? Noble tech advance. We can now build another kind of ship. Yeah, we can now build a light ship, which is all very nice. The product. Uh, here we go. Right now, this is. Around the 1500s and onwards to the end of the game, you get all sort of religious involvements in the game. Sweden started. Now, where if I press the, they have gone to Protestant of the faith. We're gonna. I'm betting France will go next. France always goes Protestant. You start seeing little dots forming now, of light blues or light blues, and it will eventually come to us. We want to try and avoid the British Isles to get the. Um, we want to avoid the mainland of the British Isles to be to get that because when you get a change in religious type. It takes 20 years for you to get enough percentage for you to actually be able to change it back to the religion that you're doing. Which really screws up in the terms of your income. Because it takes stuff off your tax. Come on, discover it. There we go, we got one. Can I colonize this? Yes. Oh, thank God. Would someone already colonize this? Oh, that would have been... S oh, it's because I've got on freaking that one. <laughs> Stop. We discovered about our chronos uh, on the edge of the... Oh, right there. Oh, the almonds must get out. Almonds are back in the game. Let's see for how long. To Demi, which is up here. Okay, so we're gonna stop these. We won't, we won't start colonizing America until well, until quite late on now. Because after that, you, if I wasn't in that union with Castile, I would have been completely and utterly fine. Hmm, 
I'm gonna go one tick over in centralization. Large result in Cumbria and Fife. Yeah. And production efficiency increased by two. Which is nice. Yeah, we got 16,000 and 15,000. Meanwhile, Burgundy knows I'm gonna be after them. So that's why they kept forces all the way around here. We're gonna to have to wait till they get in a war with somebody before I can make any sorts of advancements. I really want to get these two, but you know, can't always get them all. Discovering more of the Middle East. Western Asia. And so, there we go, there's tax. So we've got two base tax. We've got 90% distance overseas because we're not on the same continent. We've also got lack of naval patrol since nobody's patrolled here recently. It's minus 25%. So basically we get nothing. The ivory is quite expensive once it gets going. That looks off screwed. Austria goes declared war on Burgundy. We need to keep an eye on Burgundy. Well, both Burgundy and France. Casaspelli on Burgundy and Champagne and, and Holland ends this year, so we've got to keep an eye on them later. Oh, we're going to build five more. Oops. Build three. Brother's is running rampant, that sucks, we're going to need to do some more stability. The bars are nuts. Right now we can't really, well not really afford, but we can, um, we don't have enough manpower to support a large army, which is why we're always going crap like that. Which sucks, but government tax going up soon, which we'll get, we'll get a new idea, which will be National Bank. And then afterwards we're getting the one to get this, about to deal with this. Then we're going to start to work on getting up a trade income. We probably will be going to, going in the way of getting our own central trade, but I think I have to wait till I get something along the lines of getting one. I think I have enough to get. Right, I'm going to check. There we go. Brittany starts to convert to Protestant. Burgundy's getting it. Uh, yeah, Burgundy's going to get it. I reckon Burgundy and France will switch to Protestant. That means we'll get... Hmm, the Papal State is doing pretty well. Trouble is, though, when I align myself with the Papal State, the Papal State go to war with literally everybody. That isn't Catholic. Maybe. Impossible. Yeah, we have to... Because Austria is back to being the almighty powerful. God, look at how many stuff that they've got. Went to the mill yard. Speaking of 
witch. I wanna send some that way. Holy War in Ukraine. That means they must have defected to Protestant Wars. No, actually, no, they didn't, because it's a Holy War. So it'd be sunny. Woo. Laser Mouse. Broke. Okay. Yeah, so where is Ukraine? Ukraine is right here. Yeah, they defected to Sunny. We're gonna see, now that it's the 1500, we're gonna see a lot of this change. Uh, we'll be seeing who will stick it out. You're gonna see a lot of the smaller nations change, because they can't afford to have. Right, now that we got that on the new year, we're, we're gonna call it an episode. Just after when we've built stuff. Um, a few marketplaces left to build, so we'll build them. We've got no constables to build, got no docks to build. So, we're going to build some churches. We're going to build one church, and we're going to build one armory. And Lunster. Let's have a look at our manpower. And, ooh, shoot. We've got a bit of... I paused the game. Damn. Hmm. We could claim the throne of Savoy. If we needed to. Claim the throne. Their monarch dies without a legal heir. Oh, they've... However, if another clan may get involved in succession. We may get involved in succession war. But we've got a load of royal marriages with, with people. We got one with Navarro, I think. Yeah, we got one with Navarro. We haven't got one with them. We got one with them. We can't offer annex annexation till 1503. So I think we'll end this off here. So. I think next time, um, we can't really go to war with anyone, so we can't force wars in Burgundy or France. What we need to do is we need to, well, we're, we're close for every bit of Scotland to be going to core, and then we'll be able to form Great Britain, and then we'll try and finish the colonization of Sierra Leone. After that, we'll move over to the Grain Coast. And then we'll start to try and... We'll start to colonise bits of Greenland. So I'll see you guys then for more European Universalis 3.